Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create this satisfying loop in Blender. So let's get started. First hit Shift A and add a plane. Go to Geometry Nodes and click on New. Delete the Group Input and add a Grid. And let's set the vertices to 100 or Shift click on it. Let's also set the size to 10. Add an Instance on Points node and put that here. And add a Cube. Let's use the cube as the instance. Set the size to 0.2. Add a vector math node and set it to maximum. Set the bottom vector to 0.23 and plug the vector into the scale. Add a combine XYZ node. And let's plug the vector into the top socket here. Add a math node and plug the value into the X and into the Y. Set it to minimum. Set the bottom value to 0.48. Now add a wave texture. Plug the color into the top value and into the set. Add a math node and set it to minimum. Plug the value into the X and into the Y. Set the bottom value to 0.48. Add a wave texture. Set the scale to 0.5 and the distortion to 6.6. .6. Take the color and plug it in here and into the set. We also need a position node. Plug the position into the vector. Now add a vector rotate node and put that here. Open the timeline. I'm going to set the end frame to 150. Make sure you're on frame one and keyframe the angle. Go to frame 151 and set the angle to 360 and keyframe it again. Make sure that the plane and the node are selected and press A and T and select linear. Add a set material node and put that here. Go to the material properties, click on new and select the material here. We also need a set shade smooth node and a subdivision surface node. Let's set that to 4. Also set the edge crease to 0.4. Now let's save and go to shading. For this you can use Eevee or Cyclos. I'm going to use Eevee. I'm going to put a link to the HDI that I'm using in the description. Here let's set the metallic to 1 and the roughness to 0.27. Let's also go to the render properties. Go to film and make it transparent. If you want you can also go to the color management and set the fusion form to filmic and the look to very high contrast. Also, if you're using Eevee, make sure that ambient occlusion, bloom, and screen space reflections are enabled. Add a mask wave texture. Set the scale to 400 and the detail to 15. Add a color ramp. For the black, I'm going to use this hex code. For the white, I'm going to use this one. Select the mask wave texture and press Ctrl T. Plug the vector into the normal and add a noise texture. Set the scale to 12 and the detail to 15. Let's also add a bump node. Let's use the height and set the strength to 0.008. Now let's save again and go back to layout mode. Go into rendered view and I'm going to position my view around here. Hit Shift A and add a camera. Control Alt Zero to go into camera view. These are the coordinates of the camera by the way. Now hit Shift A and add an empty plane axis and press G and Shift Z and put it somewhere around here. With the camera selected, go to the Object Data Properties and enable Depth of Field and select the Empty. I'm going to set the F-Stop to 0.4, set the Blades to 16, go to Compositing, enable Use Nodes. If you're using Cycles, then somewhere around here you can check denoising data. That will give you a few more outputs here, then just connect these two. You can also use the denoise node if you're using EV, but it's not necessary. I'm going to remove it, add a glare node and set it to high. With this node it doesn't matter if you're using EV or cyclists, it just makes it look better. In the output properties, select the folder where you want the images to be saved. I'm going to use JPEG with the quality set to 100%. If you want to speed up the render, you can go to render and enable lock interface. If you're using cyclists, you can also go here to performance and enable persistent data. Just be careful with that because it uses a lot of memory. Now let's save again and press Ctrl F12. Once it's done rendering, close this window and go to video editing. Make sure you're on frame 1. Set the file format to FFmpeg video, the encoding container to MPEG4 and the output quality to high quality. If you want you can go here to color management and set this back to standard and none. Now go here, hit Shift A, image sequence and find the folder where you have the images. Press A and enter, save again and press Ctrl F12. Feel free to like and subscribe.
If you like this tutorial, then you're probably also going to like the one that is on screen now. I'll see you next time.